Hi, and welcome back to my ever-changing workshop. I say ever-changing because I need to make another alteration in preparation for the arrival of a piece of kit that I bought back before Christmas. So it was fine, it was when I was in my spending phase, which has ended now. Anyway, this new piece of equipment is going here. So I need to move my small bandsaw over there. Now, first of all, you might notice that there's a wall and a door missing. The door's just propped up there for the minute. But I decided to take the wall down so that I could move my sheet goods that were here over to there and open up a bit more space. And I must say it's worked a treat. I could almost hold an evening ball in here. Anyway, the bandsaw is going to go here. So I need to mod the end of this cabinet. It's rather an old cabinet, but it's got some great storage in it. Nice and simple construction, end panels, center panels, drawers, you get the picture, double thickness top on it. So the idea at the moment is slice down here, cut the top off, cut just above this shelf, sorry, this drawer, and then pop a shelf on there and try the bandsaw on it for height. I'm going to use the Festool jigsaw with the base rail adapter plate or the rail adapter base plate, I should say. So I'm just striking a line. And that looks like it's nice and parallel. get a bigger square. I'm going to give myself a few mil to work with because I can plane or sand that back just in case this side panel is slightly out of square. Mid panel I should say. I don't think it is. It looked quite good just now. So there's my cut line. Now I need to measure back, I think it's 34 mil from the cut, um, from the blade, sorry, to the edge of the rail. But I'll measure it again just to make sure. I've got orbital off to begin with. Well, that went badly wrong. You can see where it's completely wandered off, pieced. Right back here, the blades go hot and bent. And that's one of the Festool Carvex blades. I'm really surprised. And it's totally trashed out my chip protector. So new blade installed, new chip protector installed. I'll see if I can straighten this up and continue the cut.
got a wee problem at the back. I can't use a clamp at the back because there's a back panel in place. So I'm going to have to put a screw through the end of the rail. So I square the line across and just screwed an old piece of um, wasting as a temporary bat so I could drop this old piece of worktop on and try the jigsaw on it and see how it feels for height. Well that was quite the lift getting that up there, but I'm glad I did because it's too high. I don't like it that high. So I'm going to shave an inch off of this drawer, drop all of this down, fit a panel across the top as a, a lid for the drawer if you like, and then I'll start working on the rotating base. Okay, so here's the plan. I have this heavy duty door pivot assembly that I intend to place uh, around there for demonstration purposes. So that that will be the central hinge point. So that'll take care of the majority of the weight because that'll be screwed into there and supported by this bottom sheet. The top sheet will be screwed to the underside of the bandsaw. So I just need to support the rest of it. Now I have this, let me read the name a minute, 
high density polyethylene sheet which is super smooth you have to take my word for it do excuse my phone and what I'm thinking is if I place this approximately there so that it supports the arc and the majority of the weight as it turns that'll take care of supporting the machine whilst it's in the home position if I can use that phrase so the only other thing I've got to worry about is supporting the machine when it's in the extended position Well, that's gone in there a treat slides really smooth but I'm really worried about that bit because there's nothing to keep the back end down I thought about putting a bolt through there with a big wide washer on the bottom and tracing the curve so it keep that corner down but the only place it's really an issue is when 50% or more of the weight is out there and I think what's needed 
is as I believe I mentioned earlier a support leg on wheels at the bottom so onto that support leg I've dug out of my woodshed some old scraps of 4x2 and a, a bit of 6x2 I'm going to size them all down on the planer and through the thickness here and see what I can salvage hopefully I've got enough here so that I can make a, a very basic frame with a cross brace uh, similar to half of a stable door and then I'm going to pop some lockable nylon wheels on the bottom and we'll be there And here's the finished article and man am I chuffed my little half stable door works a treat the wider timber that I've used keeps it nice and stable cross brace will stop it racking flexi hose for the dust extraction so I can bring it out plenty of electric lead absolutely perfect so chuffed and of course i've got my space free over in the corner and this area is just going to be absolutely superb couldn't be better so i hope you enjoyed watching my little conversion and who knows maybe it'll give you some ideas to utilize that little bit of forgotten space in the corner thanks for watching and see you next time ta -ra.